Okay, you guys, I've got us in position, and I've finally, correctly, I think, identified uh, this one. And I'm pretty sure it's an old medium freighter. I've been watching them a little bit and looking at some of the characteristics. Basically, the big thing here is this mast here, which is right here. And then I do believe that these cranes here are these here. So I apologize profusely for my incapability. No, I don't. I don't care. So um, we're going to try to range this guy out because I'm going to try to take a shot with the stern and I'm also going to do this from the surface if I can. Which could end terribly for us because this guy does... Well, is he armed? Honestly, I can't tell for sure. He's evening out and the more that he evens out, the more I feel confident in my solution. Especially because of the hull here has this little notch here, which is that. Okay, so we got that. This guy, we've already got locked in. So, actually, with that said, this is actually our primary target because he's first in line. Well, second in line. We want to attack him first and then the other one. So we'll arrange him at whatever this is. 4756, you say. Hmm. Yes, sir. I have to Bastard. wait a little bit then. I don't want to get too close. I've got us going pretty much perpendicular, even though my course line doesn't show it. I'm going basically like this, because I'm backing up. But I want to get a little closer, but I don't want to get too close. Okay, there we go. Just go ahead one knot, if you could, please. Alrighty! I think we got this now. I don't think it's actually from the top of the flagpole. I think it's from the topmost mast, as you can see. We'll lock that in. And his AOB, he should be going on a course of 276, so let's, we actually got that pretty much right, but let's change that a little. Nope, wrong way. That's pretty close. Okay, we've got the speed plugged in. Let's start the position keeper. Said, let's start the position keeper. There we go. And we're going to use an aft tube. We're going to actually have this go fast, I think. And we'll have it be an actual contact exploder. I think everything's set. I'm going to take a moment and just think for a second. It's going to hurt my brain terribly. I've thought think we're good. Somebody chastised me for <laughs> firing before I think, which is fair, and I want to go on record and say I respect your opinion. I'm thinking. It doesn't suit me. I'm not going to do this ever again. Oh, I didn't even open the tube. <laughs> well, it should still hit. Right? Right. This one... Whoa, okay, that's not how that's supposed to sound, but whatever. Don't Let's really know what. get this guy ranged out. And his AOB should be more like this. That's almost there, just a few more degrees. Just a little bit more. Plug that in. Open the tube. <laughs> And what's the setting? Is it at low? It is. And we're going to go ahead and man the deck gun. Oh, we already have it manned with men. Uh, let's actually swap them out, though, because I bet they're a little bit tired. They just need a little bit of a nap. All right, so not sure how this is going to work out. Can I just see a wake? It's going to be impossible for me to see wakes, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and refer to our attack map, which shows that I got that solution maybe okay. This one, I timed it completely wrong, so we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks okay. Let's see if we can hit the Hansa Freighter. I should have done it the other way. This one fast, this one slow, maybe. Yeah. But we did get a good hit on him. Now we'll have to just wait and see if my 
ill-timed shot goes through, and it might, because he's not maneuvering correctly. He slowed down, which is actually good news, because my solution wasn't that great as far as the range, so it's going to help us out. Yeah, I'll yep. Nice. Okay, well, those were not simultaneous hits, but they were hits nonetheless. They work just fine for me. Now, I want to get a good look at these guys first before I start shooting, because this guy does have a platform. I don't think he's armed. This one looks a little worse off than this one. Let's try to take this one out first, because if they all three are armed, we're in a lot of trouble. And I don't know what that is, and again, I don't really care. So, here we go. Here we go! It's-a me! Kane Masters! <laughs> So confusing. Okay, let's see. Bingo. That's great. We want waterline hits. Out the yin yang. Who is on the deck gun? No one is on the deck gun. Mr. Entropy, get on the deck gun. Johnny C133, get on the deck gun. Oh goodness, we have really rattled their cage, viewers. I think we might want to consider not going ahead. Yes, sir. ahead one boy. not. Too short. Short people. Got no reason to live. Oh god! Yeah, they're shooting at me. Okay, yeah, it's, it's time. I think it's time to yes, crash dive. Because they're, they're, sh they're all shooting at me. This is not good. Everybody get off the deck. Everybody off the fucking deck. <laughs> this is not where people belong. People do not belong on the deck right now. We're gonna let them break up a little bit so that we don't have the concentrated fire of three angry merchants directed at us. Um, so this one looks like, I'm obviously cheating here, but <laughs> this one here looks like he is, oh, let's go ahead and go to 20 and we don't have to go ahead flank. He might have been slowed significantly by our hit. This guy doesn't look too bad, so he's gonna keep going. This guy obviously wasn't hit with anything, so he's gonna keep going. Um, We'll have to wait until this guy gets separated off, and then we'll take him out, and then we'll try to pursue this guy, and maybe put a torpedo in this one. So that is the plan. And it will probably not be something I adhere to. But it's nice to have one, isn't it? Well, I have been watching these three amigos here from our watery perch. And... <laughs> what a weird phrase. Okay. I've been watching these guys for a while, and, um... These two, right here, this one and this one, seem to be the only ones on a steady course. This guy's doing all kinds of wacky stuff. It's almost like he's trying to avoid being killed or something. I don't know why he would do that, but uh, I'm going to take shots at these two. We only have the two torpedoes left, so I've got to make these count. And I did 315 them a little bit ago, and they're going about five knots, maybe four and a half. But we'll see. Um, so I've already got this guy locked up. And I was just in the process of identifying him, which I've just done. I realized that I needed to actually start the recording because this is actually a pivotal moment. Uh, and we're going to use the traditional method of sinking ships, I guess. Which is shooting them until they die. But I'm going to speed these guys out again. Just to be sure that my reading is right. Now, we're going to have to range this guy to start with. Something like that. And we've been at general quarters for a while. Uh, we're actually at a very steep angle right now, so I'm going to say 40. And we're going to start at the clock. We do need to get a little bit closer anyway, so this isn't a big deal. And it is dark, so we have a little bit of an advantage here. I hope they don't start shooting at us, because that would be bad. It would really ruin my temper maybe a little bit more and what do we have five knots I will take that and run with it all right so I'm gonna wait until he gets to about 4,000 and we got set that to contact not that it matters all that much the other one's gonna be much closer but 
that's okay. That's the, the whole point of this. Got to be careful with the time compression. Okay, we're going to get ready to open the tube here in a moment. Wait for the torpedo to be away. And all right, why is it reopening? It sounds like it already shot. Now, and also I think that the, the sound issue from earlier is fixed. Hopefully it is. Uh, now this guy's further down the line from his friend, so we'll say that he's about like that maybe. And we're gonna keep that same speed give it a few seconds here before I shoot at him. Should we we'll go ahead and close the tube? Why not? Once he gets to about 3,000, I'll go ahead and shoot. We'll, we'll let it be a little bit above 3,000. I think diving would be prudent now. Alright, so hopefully we can keep our eyes on these torpedoes, and hopefully they hit, obviously. Right, so there's that one, and then let's see if we can find the other one. There we go. Okay. So let's increase the time comp or, yeah, time compression. That's what that is. Ability to compress time. And I think we've got a hit. This is the torpedo here. I think that this is going to work. Now, where's the other one? It's going to be very difficult. Oh, there it is. That one looks good, too. Okay. So let's go back and try to find this one. And the speed might be a bit high. He's turning. He's turning the wrong way. Actually, I don't think he really had much of a chance either way. If that hits under his engine house, I will be pleased as punch. Let's go ahead and go under and see if we can see the impact. Don't see it. There it is. Right about at the engine house. Not bad. What about the other one? I don't see it. There it is. Now, this isn't going to be, obviously, that's about 20 seconds or so between impacts, but that's not bad. Haha. Uh -huh. Stupid jerks on deck. Stupid innocent bystanders. Ha ha ha. Well, we took uh, two shots and hit twice. Um, but this guy is now more on fire, but he still seems to be very much afloat, and so does his dumb little friend here. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Maybe we get some secondaries, but we are out of torpedoes. So as far as sinking this little convoy, we have to rely on the deck gun. And I'm not all that happy about that prospect because these guys are pretty well armed, I think. So I'm not sure how this is going to go from here on out. But like I say, I'm just going to have to give it the old effing controller try and sink these three morons that have been such a thorn in my side. Well, not really, but... Maybe they will be. We'll see. So I um, pursued them underwater for a while, and then I surfaced at one point to save. And uh, I surfaced... Let's, let's take a look at these guys. They're now in a fairly regular line now, which they weren't, but doesn't matter. I surfaced basically in a position like this, and they all shot at me, and they were all very unhappy to see me. And as you can see, they're all armed. Um, I think we've demonstrated this already, but... Just so you guys know, I'm not making this up. Is that land over there? Whoa, trippy. Um, anyways, uh, so it made me think, well, if I'm going to attack these guys, and I'm going to have to do it, first of all, during the daylight, the serious daylight, 
and um, that's not going to be advantageous to me. Uh, it's going to be advantageous to them. But advantageous to me would be to eliminate as many of those guns as possible without even having to shoot at them. Uh, and I'm doing that by putting us on a good angle, right, like this, so that their guns, some of them are out of use, and then some of them they would have to possibly hit their friends to use them. So that's the idea here. So I'm going to put us on the surface, and I'm going to go back to general quarters, and I'm going to swap some of you dudes out. Let me go here. I don't remember where everybody was stationed. Groove Clubhouse. Mm, I think you were on one before. Uh, duh. Cameron Richards. My friend, my colleague, Cameron Richards. Yes, sir. Um, okay. They didn't hit me, of course, but, you know, I don't want to be in that position where I end up getting hit, so... So with this little attack that we're doing, we're going to have to be cautious not to drift too far off course. Because we're obviously going to be zigzagging to stay in their baffles. That's a nautical term. I'm not a complete dummy. We're going to be trying to stay as close to, as directly behind them as we possibly can. So that we can totally wreck their shit. Alright, so let's commence wrecking shit. They're steering, so they possibly see me already. That is okay. And that is a long shot, but I hit something. And now I don't know if I'm actually hitting the ship that I'm intending to is the problem. Because they're all stacked up. Okay, so that was probably... The first shot probably hit a ship that I did not want to hit. I mean, I want to hit all of them, I guess, but... Overshot. It's actually much closer than I thought. Now his buddies are going to start shooting at me. They've broken formation. So maybe my tactic wasn't that brilliant. But uh, I'm getting a couple of shots off on this uh, ship in the back. That's That's good, right? Somebody give me an attaboy. Somebody give me a treat. Some Alpo or something, that would be great. Yes, sir. So now I'm gonna start steering yes, sir. back. Oh, come on. Yeah, nope. Oh, good! Great! Super duper. So now we're obviously at a dead angle. Ha ha ha. Can't can't shoot like that. That would be ill advised. Yeah, let's just call that good. I'm tempted to start shooting at the ones that are actually shooting at me, but that kind of retaliatory action may not pay off. I think I've got him ranged right, but that lead that I gave him wasn't right. Ow! <laughs> so many factors. Oh. Come on now. Oh, jeez. They're so close. Ow. Preemptive ow. Oh, okay. It's a lucky day. Yay! Yeah, now we've got that guy in... Oh, that's not going to hit anything. Uh, we've got that guy screwed up, but he seems to have lots of guns in the back, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yippee. Hitting stuff on the deck is... Ow! Speaking of... Fuck. Guess I should see if we took some damage off of that. Well, we obviously did. What damage, though? Seven points of hull damage, somehow. Not really believable, but whatever. 
have no torpedoes left, so this is really our only option to do it this way. Oh, God. Come on. This is ridiculous. Ow. Okay, let's, let's double check this, because I thought I changed this. Yeah, this is off. I've tried fiddling with that. Why don't we turn on some music? We can sing ourselves to death. Right now we're just getting the haunting, you might have just sunk something song. I don't know why, but... I certainly didn't get a, uh, she's going down message yet. I've been looking very closely at that, because I would like nothing more than to end this silly waste of time, but... Come on. You know, the problem with this, now that I'm doing this too, is uh, that when you hit a ship in the stern like that, it, you're not really hitting the hull very hard. So maybe this isn't such a great idea. He also appears to have stopped shooting at us. For some weird reason. If he had a gun there, I might have just hit it, but they're not shooting at me. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was not a secondary. That was just them being pissed. Yeah, they are unhappy again. You know you're in trouble when you can actually hear the shells. Usually when you think of the sound that shells make, you think of the ocean. Not so much. I would like to at least sink one of these. This is kind of amazing that we're having this much trouble. God bless America. Okay. Apparently I landed a hit there. Yes! Yes, ask and ye shall receive.